guys, obviously you just witnessed me absolutely wipe the floor with Alana Kennedy head tennis, um, and then I made a huge mistake of you know giving Alana some free kick tips, and then she wiped the floor with me. So we'll call it one each. All right. You happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with Fantastic. that. Fantastic. Anyway, first and foremost, I really appreciate you coming down today. Out uh, your busy schedule, you know, always out and about, aren't you? Yeah, very busy, but always got time for you. And I, I oh. mean, always got time to wipe the floor with you and the free kick, so. No, I'm just Hopefully, kidding. just play for the Sydney team when you come back from the States, so then yeah. we can do sessions. We'll see. Yeah, nah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, right, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to do like a little bit of a quick fire question round with Alana Kennedy, and then I'm going to ask some serious. Don't be looking at me. <laughs> But they were before, before we are, were rolling though, he did give me a lot of tips. Yeah, so. right. oh, I appreciate that. So, Shouldn't have given you them out. tips. <laughs> Shouldn't have given you them tips, but there. Uh... Pull back, touch with the left, pass with the left. Good, we're off. Quick feet, scan, bounce, quick feet, pull back, Two. touch across, good. Quick feet, scan, One. quick feet, scan, Two. good. A little bit, two more. Last one, last one, good. And then I'm gonna ask some Preparing. serious questions. We've got D10 behind us, he's currently gonna be making me laugh. He's got a great quiff. That's gonna be next, by the way. Um, so yeah, I just wanna try and pick Alana's brain if possible. Oh, do you know that that's one of my least favorite sayings? Why? I hate it when I'm people I'm your bad books now. Oh, everyone who knows me knows that I hate the saying, pick your brain. So anyways, carry on. Pick your brain, so anyways, carry on. And I thought I was good at this, Daniel. I I'll tell you why. <laughs> Guys, when you say something, they can just take it for what it is. Girls will picture someone. I know, yeah. that's right, yeah, <laughs> that's right. I, I should have learnt this from my wife, anyway. Uh, Lance, how long have you been playing football for? Um, I've been playing since I was like four, wow. four or five, and I'm 23 now, so. And what got you into football? Uh, my older brother. Yeah. He's yeah. So he's he's 31 now, um, and yeah, he he just always he was a good good player himself. Ended up getting injured, so um, and having a family, so um, obviously he, he's not playing anymore. But he yeah, he was my biggest role model growing yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. So, do you like love football? Yeah, I do. I mean, you have to. It's for me. It's like my it's my job. I'm lucky yeah. enough to. To call my job, so um, yeah, I don't think I'd be able to carry on with the schedules that we have and yeah. dedicating pretty much my life to it if I didn't love it. So, yeah, yeah, I feel like this is what I try and the reason why I ask you that question is because I say to a lot of the young players that I coach is um, you've got to love it mm -hmm. to, to to play at the highest level like yeah. you do. I feel like it has to become your life. You have yeah. to evolve everything around it, and sometimes they don't get that. So yeah, that's the reason why I asked that question. Right, ready for a quick fire? Okay. Favourite food? Um, bacon. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> bacon, that'd be a bit of bacon. Sorry to all the vegans. This is, <laughs> this, this, this next question is big. Favourite TV series? Oh. There's a um, lot going around at the minute. There is. I love, well I love Wentworth, but I'm watching Suits at the moment. Suits is so, very good. That's a bit old, but no, yeah, Suits. No Game of Thrones? No, I never watched an episode. No. Have you? Game of Thrones. No. I watched like five seasons. There's like too much going on. Every time I walk in the room, if I see someone watching it, there's just there's a murder or the, some sort of. There is a lot of dramatic changes in that in yeah. that TV series. Can I can I recommend one? Yeah, sure. Manhunt. Are you, are you Netflix and chill? Oh yeah, Manhunt. Is that? Yeah. I'm. I'm about a the very, I love. Oh, and I've watched Unabomber. You know, Bomb, Unabomber. Yeah, it's about it's a documentary yeah. on I've how the how they. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna give it away, but I love like I love documentaries, the jeans, yeah. a murderer, all that kind of stuff. I love. I'm all about Netflix and chill stuff. Yeah. It's fantastic. Uh, all right, favorite men's player. Men's player. Um, Can be anyone. I mean, so cliche, but probably messy. Yeah, you, you have to. Yeah. You have to, don't you? you just got to. No Ronaldo. Oh, he's obviously quality, but I'd messy I think, over Ronaldo. Okay, I'm the same as well. Fav favorite women's player. Um, 
or someone that maybe you looked up to when yeah. you were growing up? Yeah, uh, well for me it was always, it's, it's weird now because she's my teammate, but um, Marta, yeah. she, when I was you know younger, she was just the, the name of it, she still is the biggest name in women's football, so um, obviously watched her growing up, so she was a role model. I also, I mean, I don't know if you know Colette McCallum, but she's a, she, she wore number 14 before me in the Matildas, and she's yeah. got an unbelievable left foot. Um, and she's a great free kick taker as well. Yeah. So she's someone I also looked up to. Yeah, I love that. What's, just, just on the mark, I think, what, what's it like training and, and, and playing with her? Yeah. You know, obviously, um, huge, huge name in the women's game. Yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty cool. It was almost just rumours at first, and then it kind of, kind of came true. So I was, I was ex excited for that. And um, I was saying to you earlier, she just pulls things out at training that you just... Yeah other players wouldn't expect and she's just she's just the next that next level above i remember coming class. to watch you play against brazil the first game and even even now she was just you could just tell she's got that little yeah. bit about her but yeah, that, that must does. be amazing and she's a great per person as well yeah. she's just got a, a huge a huge character and she's just yeah one of those those big personalities in the locker room but can you let her know that i've been learning I will, portuguese i will i'll let her know that jonah one on one wants a session and so. i've got i've got that little portuguese you know i've been learning off my wife maybe we can get a session in okay cool. can she speak fluent english um it's pretty good yeah yeah it's pretty good Hook a session up, please. I will. I'll, I'll do. I'll do my best. We'll get it to Australia. Uh, all right. No, it, it's supposed to be a quick fire, but obviously, you know, that just, wasn't quick. It wasn't really quick. Uh, the best player you've played against? Probably Marta, but I have. I never really come up against her as a defender. So apart from her, probably one of her teammates, Cristiani. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The. I mean, she's a little bit older now, but a couple of years ago, she was in the World Cup. She was one of the toughest strikers I've played. Off. Little throw of the World Cup out there, by the way. Uh, <laughs> best player you've played with? With? Um, well, okay. is this, this is this is a Marta special. Marta special, love that. Um, Jess Fishlock for me is one of the best players I've played with as well. She's just a quality um, all-round footballer. Just she's got the the knowledge as well behind it all, and she can yeah. she can execute it all. So um, she's that. a quality. Love that. Yeah, she's a fantastic player. I've been watching the games. Um, all right, big question. You've obviously played in the States and you've played in the W League. Uh, what is what is the difference between the two or is, the, is it pretty similar? Um, I think the gap's slowly closing, but the, there's always going to be a difference um, with, uh, in terms of the age and the, over here, obviously, we start a little bit younger, which I think is um, it's just the way it works over here and it's been beneficial for our national team, for the yeah. average age for our national team. a lot of players get a bit of a shock when they come here and they're you know around 16 year olds 15 year olds but um yeah yeah i think the quality in in australia is, is yeah. just getting better and better and we're, we're having more and more players from the u.s come over here um and yeah i think the u.s league is probably that little bit uh, more physical and maybe a little bit faster um but yeah as i said it's definitely um, the gap's closing yeah i would talk i think the, the way the current Matilda's going at the minute has inspired the whole new yeah, generation of, of footballers. Like the inquiries I get now for young female footballers is ridiculous, mm -hmm. and I think that is down to how successful the Matildas have been. Yeah. And I hope that continues because you know it's it's fantastic. You, on, on the Matildas, then what 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 do you feel like? Why has it become so good? Do you think why why are they doing so well? Um, I just think. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with our coach. Um, since he took over uh, in 2015 for the World Cup, he sort of has instilled um, this new mentality in the team where we we sort of we, you know we fight for each other and we understand that when we're away from the team, we need to be doing that extra work. And um, I just think now it's 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 part of our philosophy, and we have that belief, you know, that win against the US, our first win against the US this uh, late. Last year, early yeah. last year, mid last that year. That was huge. That was huge for us, and um, just that belief that we can match it with the best in the world. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just think if we can keep keep everyone in form, um, yeah, we're, do we're doing great. So hopefully that. I think that's the biggest thing that I can see because I coach quite a few. I obviously work a lot with Chloe, and mm -hmm. she just can't wait to get back into yeah. camp. Like it, it seems like you've got such a great togetherness. Yeah, yeah, it's a good environment. So I think, as I said, when when things are going well, it's obviously yeah, great. Exactly. So. 
um, yeah, I enjoy. It. I'm looking forward to it. It's been it's been a few months since we've been together, so. Can you hook me up a session with Sam Kerr or? Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure I've been in, I've been in talks with Sam, but obviously she's been getting pulled. Yeah, right? yeah, she's a busy lady. She's she's all over the place at the moment, so. She's flying. I'm sure if really she gets well. a spare minute, um, she'd love to do a session. I would love that. I would love that. Uh, fantastic. So I think the last question I want to ask is is. What advice would you give to any of the young female footballers out there that, that may be watching this? What advice would I give? Um, well, you said earlier, you obviously have to love it, um, love what yeah. you're doing. Um, but I think just that extra, going the extra mile, I, when I was younger, all I was doing was, every chance I had, I was in the backyard doing all I could. Um, for younger girls, this is a little bit more um, in depth, but I just think um, your technique, uh, working on the your touch, your technique, those things um, that that make a better player um, while you're young enough to develop those skills. I think that's something that you should be focusing on. Great um, advice. But yeah, I just think enjoy it and and obviously take all the advice you can get and, and little pieces of gold and instill uh, and apply that to to your training and yeah. That's that's brilliant. I. I say that all the time. I'm glad. It's, it's crazy that you're saying that because when I'm coaching them, I'll say, you know, you ask any top professional, they would have spent hours with the ball on their own. Yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like the young kids these days, you know, the PlayStation or Xbox, yeah, or they, yeah, yeah. Their, their schedules are crazy. Whereas I feel like if you if you want to be a professional footballer, you've got to become best friends with the football. Yeah, and I feel like anyone that's made it at that at the level you're at, that they've, they've done that at some yeah. point in their career. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lance. That was brilliant. Pleasure. Excellent. Over and out. Legend right here. Uh, keep an eye out with the Matildas. Absolutely flying. Thank you again, Lance. You're a legend. Thanks, Lee.